Cartagena was founded on June 1, 1533 by a Spanish commander. Commander Heredia took over an abandoned Caribbean village known as Calamari and started building a settlement. The first Spanish settlers were sailors. In 1552, a fire flattened all the wooden buildings in Cartagena, after which the governor ordered all replacements to be made of stone. Cartagena was the first Spanish colony in the Americas, and its location on the Caribbean Sea made it a vitally important port city. The city remained under Spanish rule for about 275 years, and all Spanish riches were transported through Cartagena at this time, which earned the city large sums to build mansions. And Cartagena led the charge for breaking free from Spain, declaring its independence before the rest of the country on November 11th, 1811. It is so difficult walking around when it's 90 degrees wearing a mask. I feel like my eyeballs are sweating. In the 17th century, the King of Spain ordered the city of Cartagena to become a hub for the slave trade, which further added to the city's riches. You have to remember that most of what we are seeing is preservation of oppression and genocide, since the indigenous people of Colombia were pushed out by the Europeans. Actually, you could walk the whole old town in just one or two hours. Colombia is known for its emeralds, but if you don't know anything about emeralds, I will pass on one little tidbit. They crack easily, believe it or not. Looks like an iguana doorknob. It's a beautiful old house. Cartagena is basically a grid system of Calais running east to west and Carreras running north to south. But I get lost all the time. Church of Santo Domingo. Botero is unmistakable. You could even take a horse carriage. Amadeus restaurant. We all close around three o'clock and reopen at six six thirty. Baruco by Cusco. By the end of the 16th century, the city needed protection and began building the wall and fortress. The Spanish poured huge amounts of money into the creation of defenses to protect their wealth. And at this time, the port was the largest in Americas. Mounted in stone walls that separate the old town from Park Centenario and modern the beautiful yellow gate is the clock tower gate. What a gorgeous old courtyard. The artillery barracks. There are surviving records at some point in the 17th century The University of Cartagena is in here. It's the Cloister of Merced, begun in 1619. Construction began on Convent of San Diego in 1611, and it was consecrated in 1625.
we're doing our best to stay on the shady side of the street. While walking around, we decided there's no such thing as being too early for a glass of vino blanco. The restaurant is called Aquila Popa. Popa. They have a really nice looking menu. There are so many really, really good restaurants in Cartagena.